fucking out. I told you, Pops, and you know that means nobody else does. Tune into the FightBig.com podcast show. This is FightBig.com. Ding, ding. What's up, dudes? It's your boy, Rick, from FightBig.com, broadcasting live out of my lair here in New York. Yeah, Brooklyn. That's where I was born. Yes. Anyway, it is Friday. Tonight we got Friday Night Fights. Go see that ESPN. Good stuff. I'll tweet something out on FightBig.com about that. I'll upload it tonight, uh, the highlights. All right, let's get right into it. We, we're going to talk about, uh, in this, this, this vlogcast, podcast, we're going to talk about Floyd Mayweather, May 5th, Cinco de Maya versus Cotto versus Pacquiao versus Tim Bradley. And I'm going to break down on uh, which fight you should buy, which fight's going to be the better fight, in my opinion. And uh, we're going to discuss all that. It's going to be a really cool show. But before we do all that, let's get to the first uh, DVD giveaway, the Raging Bull DVD giveaway. Real quick, I told you what to do last week. And um, you guys were posting a Team HBO, whatever. I got... Names in the hats that posted on last week's video. Everyone who posted a comment, name is in the hat. Really, literally, I wrote them all down, and I'm going to pull one name out. And if you want the DVD, I'm going to contact you. Congratulations, and you send me your address, and I'll send it off. If you don't want it, I'll redo it. I'll, I'll do it next week's show. I'll go back in, and but who would turn down a Raging Bull DVD, even if it's used? It's mint, like I said last week. So let's get the hat out. Oh, I gotta, sh- I gotta shake the hat up. This is a hat. Names are in it. Strips of paper. And then we're gonna shake it. And someone's gonna get a DVD. Raging Bull, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci. Seen together first time on the screen. Martin Scorsese directed this fine movie. Okay, it's my favorite boxing film. So I got my hand on one piece of paper. I'm not looking, I'm still looking at the screen. Let me pull these dumb sunglasses off. I'm still looking at the screen and I'm gonna pull the name out and you're gonna find out whose name's on it as well as me. Does it make sense as well as me? Now, we'll do this at the same time. Boom, who won? Oh yeah, dude, you won. Big old Kanish, congratulations. If you want the DVD, I'm gonna contact you after this vlogcast. And uh, congratulations, and if you just send me your address I'll, or where you want me to send it, I'll just send the DVD off to you. Free of charge. And I'm assuming you're 18. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so 18 and up. Let's get right into it, dude. So let's, we got big pay-per-views coming up. You know, once again, boxing has their hands in our pocket asking for big money for pay-per-views in a tight economy. Now, let's talk about this WBA Super World Light Middleweight Championship. So that's Floyd Mayweather, right? He's going up and away from welterweight. Floyd's 34 years old, right? Let's break this down. 42 wins, zero losses, as we all know, 26 KOs, and uh, he, this is May 5th, this is Cotto, he's fighting Cotto, Miguel Cotto is 31 years old, you know, he he redeemed himself fighting uh, Antonio Margarito in his last fight, and by the way, when that fight ended, Cotto didn't look too good, but, you know, this is just the way it is, he won that fight, he outboxed Margarito, and he, yeah, Cotto is 37 wins, two losses, 30 KOs, and you know who he lost to, that's... Margarito suspect cheating with the gloves, the hand wraps, and all that. And uh, he lost to Pacquiao, which I predicted on the vlog. Like, you can go back and check that out. So, what we're going to talk about is this fight versus Pacquiao's fight coming up with Bradley. I'll break that down after this. Um, I'm going to tell you guys what I think. I think Miguel Cotto is shot worn. Yes, yes, yes. He only lost two fights. I thought. Shane Mosley edged him out a couple years ago, but that doesn't matter. Still, could have went either way. He's going to fight Floyd Mayweather, and then, you know, I think that he's going to lose. I told you guys that before. I think that Manny Pacquiao and, 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 and Floyd would make the best fight. Everyone knows it. We all want to see that. But uh, I think Cotto hasn't fought the caliber of fighter that Floyd Mayweather has fought over the years. So that's why I never considered Cotto 
an elite fighter, and that's why I knew Pacquiao would beat him. Now, I can't get into this in one little vlogcast and go back and, no, I'm not a hater. I'm just telling it in my opinion. Cotto's a great guy. I like him a lot. I said that he's a great ambassador to the sport, and I hope he upsets Floyd, but I don't see this happening. I think it's uh, Floyd's a level above him. I think, I think that uh, this fight sucks for a pay-per-view. You really want to know what I think about me, Fip? I think that it's bullshit that they're fighting, and Pacquiao's not fighting. I'm angry about it. I'm all frustrated Rock's boxing fan. I think that Cotto, his his losses, like I said, he lost every time he stepped up. And stepping up to elite level is not Shane Mosley in his late 30s. Yeah, he beat Shane Mosley. So, um, you know, they both fought Zab, Cotto and Mayweather had that opponent in common. Uh, Cotto might have stopped Zab where Floyd didn't. I think Floyd got hit low. Uh, Zab got a rest. But that's a whole nother styles make fights, people. And my eyes over the years don't lie to me. I see an expert boxer. Floyd Mayweather is a master in the ring. He's amazing. Yes, he has an amazing boxing skill, amazing defense. He adapts to all styles. And uh, at 34 years old, and Cotto's 31, I think he's younger. I think he's fresher. And I think Cotto could probably upset him if Floyd broke both hands in that fight. I don't think he's going to break both hands. And um, it's a long shot. So Cotto... I see losing, I know he's going to lose, if I had to bet on the fight, I bet Cotto would lose, obviously. And I t I'm telling you that this fight compared to the Pacquiao fight doesn't hold up. Uh, Pac is uh, 54 wins, uh, 3 losses, this is June 9th, he signed to fight Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley is only 28 years old, right? He's undefeated. He's got 28 legitimate wins. And one one of those wins over Lamont Peterson, guys, the guy who beat Khan. And incidentally, they were they rematched. We'll talk about that later, maybe next week. Uh, Timothy Bradley, only 12 KOs, doesn't carry that big punch. Although I say he doesn't carry a big punch, he could still hurt you. He hurt Lamont Peterson a couple times in that fight. I think if he lands, he's got speed. If he lands right, I mean, it's boxing. You can knock anybody out with a bunch of punches. Okay, so uh, he's got zero losses, and um, he switches to southpaw. He does that. Pacquiao's a southpaw. It's going to be really interesting. Now, Timothy Bradley is undefeated. If you don't know who he is, because he's not mainstream, he's not Cotto's name, he's not that big name yet outside of boxing mainstream or whatever, I think that this fight... I'm not sure about. When I say I'm not sure about it, like I'm sure because I know Cotto take, take a, took a few beatings already. Yes, unfortunate it's in probably with the hand wraps. Uh, Cotto's been beat up a lot. He, he's been beat up. He's been rocked. Timothy Bradley looks awesome all the time. He's an awesome fighter. Pac is taking a big chance here, right? Pacquiao, this is not an easy fight for him. Bradley may make it look easy if Pac finishes him because Bradley does get wild in that ring. He, he trades with you, and that, that gives opportunities for Pacquiao. I'm going to predict that the Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley fight, Desert Storm, is no joke, right? And it's not a clear win. I mean, am I going to be shocked if Miguel, Miguel Cotto upsets Floyd Mayweather? Absolutely. Am I going to be shocked if Bradley beats, Pac, beats Pacquiao? Maybe. But I'm not going to be as shocked, if this makes any sense, I'm not going to be as shocked if Bradley beats Pacquiao. Because Pac is fighting an undefeated young fighter. The better bang for your buck, if you're going to lay out $60, $50, whatever, $45, different markets, different cables, different satellite companies have different prices, you're going to probably be better off putting your money down on Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley because there's a lot of unknowns going into that fight. This is not Miguel Cotto, and I'm going to say an older Miguel Cotto because in his boxing odometer is, whoo, Cotto's been beat down a lot in that ring. Yeah, he's only got two losses, but boy, he got his ass handed to him in those two losses, and he took a lot of shots from Margarito in his last fight, and he was fading in that 12th round. Yes, he won the fight. The awesome factor, guys, the awesome fight odometer is off the roof with uh, Bradley versus Pacquiao because Bradley can get into Pacquiao. 
He's a different style, he adapts. It's gonna be really interesting, all right? Whereas I think the Cotto fight um, is gonna be boring with Floyd. Not boring maybe, like really boring, because I'm a big fight. I like the sweet sign. Floyd dominated his opponents like a chess game. I'm the type of fan that, uh, fan that appreciates that, but a lot of guys don't appreciate that. But uh, I'll tell you what, I think uh, Floyd's gonna always take that first, a uh, safety first approach, and he's gonna try to get a decision on Cotto. And uh, if he sees an opportunity to go in there and take a chance, he'll, he'll, he'll try to take Cotto out. But I see a decision for Floyd. But the, the, the even if Floyd knocks out Cotto, it's not gonna be oh, as good of, of a fight, in my opinion. You got an undefeated fighter fighting Manny Pacquiao, our champion, right? So we're gonna see what happens with that fight. I'm gonna predict that Manny Pacquiao pulls it out. I'm gonna go with a decision because uh, Timothy Bradley's never been stopped before. It's gonna be a hard fight for him. Uh, their reach is similar, very close. They're both 5'6". We're gonna see, dudes. Uh, I'm stoked for the fight, and a lot of people may disagree with me, but we'll only know what happens at the end of the fights when they when they occur. My point is, why well, pay for a fight where you kind of know, where I know, in my head, that Cotto's gonna probably lose unless Floyd doesn't train. Whereas I don't know that with Pacquiao. I really, I don't, I'm not 100% sure that Bradley can't upset uh, uh, Pacquiao. He, he, he might be able to beat Pacquiao. And that's a good freaking fight. That's the fight you want to buy. That's the fight that interests me. But it sucks that, again, we're here in 2012 and they're not going to fight. Uh, Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather. It's a ridiculous joke, okay? And uh, it's going to probably be too late. I don't want to see them fight as old men, right? 37-year-old Floyd fighting 35-year-old Pac, 36-year-old Pac, whatever the case is. It's bullshit. So... Going back to last week, Donier, I predicted the Nonito Donier fight, and um, it was a really interesting fight. And uh, Vasquez, you, you heard the prediction. I predicted Donier would knock him out. He almost had him out of there early, but I swear to you, dudes, I'm watching the fight, and I'm like, oh wow, something is wrong with Donier. Something's wrong. I think he hurt his hand, and I was fighting when well, my buddy was in a house with me watching the fight. And he's looking at me, yeah, right, sipping his beer. He's sleeping on me. I'm like, dude, there's something wrong with him. I'm, I can tell his hands hurt. He may throw the hands, but I bet you he hurt one of his hands. So I'm going to call him live right now. This is totally unplanned. So hopefully he picks up the phone. So um, I also said Chavez was probably going to win against Rubio, and that happened. Um, I just thought that Rubio was like one of those like journeymen fighters and, and Chavez is beating a lot of journeymen these days. And Ruben, pick up the phone. He's not picking up the phone. But I just wanted to him to weigh in live on what, what I was saying to him. So anyway, I told my boy Ruben we're watching a fight. Tonier's hand is hurt. I could tell. I just tell. He was fighting differently. when he when, It's unlike him when he put his arms out his side and started like taunting him a little. It looked like he was buying time and like, wow, oh no, my, one of my hands is hurt. Something's wrong. So I just figured his hand was hurt because he wasn't fighting like the typical Nonito Donaire that I know. And uh... Hey, before HBO said it, the commentators, I said it. Um, outside of my boy Ruben saying, yeah, you said that. <laughs> There's no proof, but who gives a damn? Maybe future episodes I'll give away. I got I got other things to give away. Fight, I got these boxing cards. I bought a, like a whole bunch of them back in the day. I was like 13, really. I got Julio Cesar Chavez. I got Joe Frazier. I got a bunch of awesome boxing cards. So I had a great idea, wow, to give some of those away later on to my listeners. That'd be cool. But so yeah, dudes, so in my opinion, you got my predictions, you know what I think. I think that uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Cotto, Cotto, Cotto loses, Floyd wins that fight. I think the fight is where it's at, the money, where it's at, you guys want to see it, you got to see it. That's going to be June 9th, pay-per-view, Timothy Bradley versus Manny Pacquiao. It's going to be really good, undefeated, quality, top fighter fighting the great Manny Pacquiao. Floyd Mayweather's great too. Don't get it twisted. Of course I'm a fan of Manny Pacquiao, yes. But I also like Floyd Mayweather because he's a master technician in that ring. He's a, he's a ring general for sure. You don't go 30, 42 wins, no losses. That doesn't happen by accident, <laughs> all right? I don't care who you're fighting, unless you're Chavez Jr. <coughs> all right, dudes, you guys be good and um, peace. Uncensored by